is an example to work with torque and it, and it is a static problem. So first, we need to identify the parts in this drawing. So this is the vertical pole, the cable, and the beam. So the problem here is to ask the tension of the cable. So first, we need to pick a pivot point, and this will be the pivot point. We don't have any idea what force is, is found in that part, so we call this pivot point 1. Pivot point 1. So... So it means that the sum of all the torque around pivot point 1 is equal to 0. And now we need to identify all the torque related to this problem and the pivot point. So this is the mass which is equal to 50 kilograms and the big mass which is equal to 200 kilograms. Um, the angle which is equal to 30 degrees and the tension which is the thing we need to find. So now we need to find the direction. So there is a force in this direction which is the small mg. So this is the weight of the object going down. And there is a distance from the line of the line of actional force to the pivot point. And there is a perpendicular distance and this will be the distance one which is the distance from the line of action in this force to the pivot point so there is also force in the cable this force this forces and this mg cause the beam to rotate if the beam rotates clockwise it will be positive and if the beam will rotate Counterclockwise, then it will be negative. So, to sum up, torque is defined as equal to the force acting on the object times the perpendicular distance from the line of action to the force to the pivot point. So, before that, we need to find the big mg the mass of the of this of this big mg and of course its gravity and the second distance 2 and the distance 3 so since the small mg rotates Counterclockwise, so it will become positive mg times distance 1, and the big mg rotates clockwise 2, so it will so positive mg times distance 2. Since the cable rotates counterclockwise, so it will become minus t times d3. So before that, we need to find the length, which is the length is equal to. 4m. So we can um d1 and d2 will be equals to m. So d1 is equals to 0 plus mgl plus big mg l over 2 minus t l sine theta. So l sine theta is equals to D3. So, D3, um, we can see that it forms a right triangle. So, right triangle. There is an angle here in 30 degrees, L, and D3. And of, since it is a right triangle, so of course, it is equals to 90 degrees. So, L is the hypotenuse. Therefore, D3 is opposite to the angle and D3 is equals to L hypotenuse times sine theta. So now, we, we can divide the equation by L. So 0 is equals to MGL plus big MG L over 2 minus T L sine theta. So divide by L. And we can now transpose T because we need to find the torque. So MG plus one half big mg 
I mean peace sign theta and we can and divide the equation sine theta so T is equals to small mg plus one half times big mg over sine theta so we can now already substitute so T is equals to 50 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared plus one half times 200 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared over sine 30 degrees and the tension I mean the torque is now 2940N so this is the symbol of the actual it's not tension